So I just want to show a video of me doing the process I just explained in the previous video where you're going in and you're bringing in the STL file. Verify you have the right one and hit OK. The first time you ever bring an STL file in, you do want to use this screen that it defaults to. You can zoom in to an area and you hold down shift to create that crosshair and you go along and you select teeth in both the STL view and over in the panoramic view and as I said in the other video I try to mix it up a bit and skip different teeth on either side the reason I do that is to try to not confuse the software into bringing the the scan in upside down after you've done that you can click the align button and if you're happy which I always am I click OK I'm not always happy in where it is I just think it gets it close enough at this point I like to go in and click on the button that allows me to to do this manually and as you can see when you're doing it manually what you're trying to do is you're trying to get to the alignment of the outline of the STL file to line up with the other teeth and so if you see that something is is off just a little bit either you gotta rotate something or move the whole entire STL file along that plane until everything starts to align. One of the best ways of making sure alignment is there is to get it so that as you're coming right down through the second you start seeing those cusp tips that you're also seeing the cusp tips from the STL file. And so you can kind of see uh, as you scroll through some of these very different views you're just looking to see that the outline of the STL file aligns with things properly. Okay, after that you're comfortable with how that one's aligned, then you can bring in anything else that you had related to that in other software. In this instance, we're bringing in the maxillary arch. Right here, we don't use this screen. I just hit cancel because I can actually align it to the model I already aligned. And so we just need to choose that model and say okay. And as you can see, it uses the same coordinates that came with that original model to position the second one.